Hey guys, we're going to try something a little bit different today on our video. This is Hank. He's a one and a half year old uh, pit. This was our first day training with Hank and I'm teaching him how to follow or lure him into certain positions. I'm also teaching him the word yes. So whenever I release that, uh, as soon as I say the word yes, uh, I release that food. I want him to follow my hand. That way it helps with putting him into certain positions. Um, Hank only knows sit and shake. So I was just trying to see what all he knew at this moment um, and how food motivated he was. So getting the dog to just chase your hand, follow you backwards, do a couple spins, that really gets your dog motivated to you know, train and stuff. So here is where I start teaching Hank to go between my legs. As you can see, he was not having any of it. Um, didn't understand what I was asking of him. That's fine. Um, that just helps build his confidence. And I was not going to give up. I wanted to make sure that, if anything, it encouraged me to make sure that he would at least go through my legs before he left after his two weeks of training. So patience really prevailed here. Um, as you can see, I was just like putting that food right in front of his nose, giving him that opportunity, but he was having none of it. So then I move on to a little bit of eye contact in this video. Uh, you know, I put my arms apart. I want the dog to look right at my eyes. I mark it with the word yes, and then I give him that food reward. Yes, there we go. Good job, Hank. All right, in this next clip again, just going back over some luring, having him chase me, get him excited. If a dog gets bored, then, you know, you're going to get bored and he's going to mess up. This actually is where I was just having him. I was tossing the food, running backwards, having him follow me. This is a good game and a good little thing to play, you know, to have your dog follow you. So start out in a quiet area and just toss that food behind you. And run off into the opposite direction. This is a game you can play inside or out. Just don't go very far. Don't like football field or something like that. You want to get the dog to really understand, hey, come after me. So again, luring, putting Hank into the heel position, right at my heels. I'm not rewarding until he comes right there. And that's where I'm going to reward. Right there, yes. After he does a couple of those, I go back into trying to get him to go between my legs again. Um, so you always want to change up your training. You just don't want to work on one specific thing over and over again. You want to keep it exciting. I mean, you do want to work on like sit, you know, maybe two minutes. Um, then play a chasing game, work on a place, go back to a sit. Just always keep it different. Keep it exciting, keep it fun, keep moving. Again, he's, he's really like, I do not know what you want me to do here. So I get creative and I just put the food on the floor so that he's not looking up at me. And I was just like happy that he went through that time. So I walked away, come back in. We're gonna try it again, see if he goes back through. This is where it gets so much fun. It's like a challenge for me. This is where I get excited because I'm like, okay, I, I can do this. I know I can get this dog to do this. I'll let you guys finish watching this clip and see if I get him to go through. Oh. 
here I started working with Hank on the down command, the down position. Um, I'm going to let this play out a little bit because I really want you guys to see that I absolutely don't say anything to him. All I am doing is taking that piece of food, sticking it as close to his nose as possible, bringing it straight down between his paws onto the floor, and I am not releasing that piece of food until he lays completely down on his belly. So I think that's where a lot of people think, you know, down, 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 hey, down, hey, lay down. You don't want to do that with your dog. You want to show them and give them that chance to learn in that little bit. I'm telling you guys, teaching Hank to down literally took me maybe two minutes. Um, and again, I said nothing to him during this whole period. I just let him sniff, figure it out, think about it. Dogs can think. They, they can understand the concept of trying to figure something out. So I always give that dog that opportunity to, uh, you know, think about what they're doing and see if they can figure it out on their own. So I'm going to let this play out now and you can hear that I don't say anything to him until I release that food after he is on the ground, laying completely down. This coming up is really good. This is where Hank, here, just one second. There, he's sitting, giving me a sit. He's lifting that one paw. He knows how to shake. That was the other command he knows. But look at him trying to figure out what can I do to get that piece of food. I'm gonna offer her a sit. Yes. There he goes. Then he offers me that paw, yes. right? As soon as he's down yes. on the ground, guys, I am like, Hey, take all the food that you want, right? Got back up. I'm going to bring him right back down. And look how quickly he figures this out. Just after that one time. Boom. Now I'm going to get in my bag. I'm going to start rewarding. This is where I jackpot the dog. I was going to keep feeding him as long as he, as he was staying in that down position. So again, <clears throat> I just brought the food straight down. Yes! Boom, yes, that's where I give him that food. Now my goal is to keep him into that down position so I just keep rewarding and rewarding. Again, that's what we call the jackpot, uh, where we give a jackpot, which is just giving him a bunch of, bunch of food right there. So I'm trying to get him to go back down, realize the food's on the ground. It's still in my hand, but I want him in that position in a down. Again, I've said nothing to him except for yes, yes, but I dare. This was my goal all along, was to get him to stay in that down position. I was super excited. I'm jackpotting. I'm giving him a piece of food over and over just to keep him in that position. So that's what it takes, guys. Just a little bit of patience. Give yourself 10 minutes to work with your dog. 
and I'm telling you, it makes a world of difference. Patience is key. Hey, if you guys like this video, follow me, share it, leave a comment. If you like the tutorial, let me know. Bye. That's how you go down.